yesterday at NYU, I took a class about what data is and the basics of data. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I learned in that class and what I did for that class's homework. So basically, data is obviously a way of storing information digitally. Now, data can come in many file types like CSV, comma separated values, TXT, XLSX, which is basically for Excel, JSON, which is basically when you take an entire spreadsheet and try making it a text file, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There are different ways to convert different types of data. So usually all data when converted into a spreadsheet will have a header at the top that states what each row and column is for uh, and uh, what they stand for and there's usually only one header and there's only a need for one header uh, usually it's a big issue and problem uh, when you have blank spaces or more than one header because uh, they do unnecessary uh, they add unnecessary clutter to your data set. So uh, after that, you can do uh, a lot of statistics with uh, the different values uh, in your data set. Now for my homework, I was supposed to uh, talk about a data set, uh, tell about why it's interesting and uh, how it could possibly be biased. And what I chose was the data set provided by NYC Free Data about civilian complaints on police, which to my surprise is still being updated to this day. So simply unbelievable because hundreds of complaints come in every day from a police force of about 40,000 officers, the largest for any city. So. Now, there's got to be at least some errors being made here, perhaps some complaints that aren't being reported in the interest of the police officer, etc. Uh, so there certainly could be a lot of bias going on here. And it's definitely interesting to see that there are people actively working to make uh, keep this spreadsheet updated. And I think I know why it's important, because uh, if uh, some organizations like investigative journalists or uh, courts uh, somehow lose data or don't have access to data but need it for, for example, investigating a police officer who has allegedly done past crimes, then uh, this database could really help uh, expose information that otherwise would not be exposed to the public. And it could... Uh, and it could uh, help uh, identify the track record of people who are coming into court, uh, who have been former police officers. So this database being up there and constantly being updated is certainly a very, very important thing. But I do suspect that there are definitely some missing complaints, either, either omitted accidentally because they just uh, could not find anything on it, or intentionally. So. Uh, that's it for working with data. Thank you, everybody.